Hey, welcome to a Rottler special on surfacing Cat 3500 heads in a Rottler S86 or S85 surfacer machine. My name's Ryan, the application engineer here at Rottler, and just wanted to give you guys some food for thought and a little extra thing to think about if you're doing heads like these. In the machine here, we have our Cat 3500 head. We have our dual axis leveling table, and we're using a 14 inch fly cutter here in the machine today. Um, one of the things that can happen in a lot of times when these heads are redone and resurfaced multiple times, they may go through two or three reman processes. And normally what we do is on a leveling table, we come in here, we take our dual axis bubble level, put that on the deck surface, find a good spot for it and set it up on there and uh, we'd adjust the leveling table until that's level, and of course our machine's level, uh, and we would go ahead and you know, do a minimum cleanup on this head. And, and that works just fine. Uh, it's, it's usually not a big issue, but what can happen is on these heads, since they can be remanned multiple times, um, over time, if you keep re-leveling on that surface, and say in the past it went through a machine that wasn't leveled, um, wasn't crammed to the bed, you can get a parallelism issue happening between the cover surface and the deck surface. And those two surfaces, if they keep getting machined just with leveling off the deck surface, that angle is gonna increase over time. And what'll happen is that the cam follower, uh, where those holes are here and that alignment, that angle, that's gonna change and that can lead to premature uh, cam trap failure. So uh, one of the ways that you can, you know, work around that or just another option is with your machine here even using the same dual axis leveling table we've gone ahead and we uh, trammed the surface of this so I put a dial indicator under here on the cutter head and we sweep back and forth across this table and left to right and then we zero uh, based on what the dial indicator says so that gives us a nice square surface to our machine spindle uh, so then we should be cutting parallel and then we're not gonna level off the deck surface anymore. We're just gonna put the head on there. You wanna have a nice clean surface underneath where the, uh, the cover side is. And, and then you're gonna go ahead and just put that on there, clamp it down, and then we'll clean it up. Um, today, we're gonna, we've got our program set. This head right here, if you measure it, you'll, you'll find out it's about 10 thou uh, difference end to end. So, uh, we want to you know, take all that off and still get a good cleanup, so we're going to set our program here to take 12 thousandths off it. The machine's going to automatically do two roughing passes and then the finishing pass. The roughing pass is being done at 5 thousandths depth to cut and the finish being done at two. So, with this all set up here on the Rottler surfacing machines, we can go ahead and hold cycle start. I'll let the workhead move. And we've got our dial indicator here. Now we should be at negative five. We go ahead and touch this down. And I've set it so it takes a little bit of pressure. And it's showing that it's now five thou below the deck surface. So that should be good. And that, that's where we check. If we were doing a, a, another head, every time you put a head on, this comes down here. You push that down and you make sure um, that you're gonna be taking the right amount off. If it wasn't, you can adjust the program or just do a skim pass at zero. So with that set, we'll just press cycle start here. We'll let that run. We'll come back and we'll check. Um, we'll check our surface finish and see if it was in our spec. So that's just finished up taking 12 thou off and we can see and we can see through those passes 
uh, that it took a little bit to clean the side, which we knew was out. And we're still getting a little bit of ghosting, and we still have some pitting we want to clearly take out. So I'm just going to change the program here. I'll reset zero, and we'll just take another six or seven thousandths off of this until we get all that pitting back out. Set my zero, and let's go ahead and do seven thou for my depth. So that will let me take one more rough and one more finish pass. Once that rerun. So now I've got a nice cleaned up surface. We'll go ahead and check this with our propylometer. So we're looking for on this, our, our specification is a maximum of 125 micro inch RA. Um, we're running 800 RPM and a 20 thousandths inch per revolution feed rate to keep our cycle time up. We do want to work within that tolerance. Uh, if we had a smoother uh, specification, lower RA, uh, we could simply lower our feed rate down maybe 15 or even to 12 thousandths inch per rev. and we're giving a 95.28. Stick that up there so you folks can see. So this would be good. Um, that means we're, we're running efficiently. Our cycle times are good. We've, we're 25, 30 micro inches below our maximum specification. Uh, and that means we've got a pretty optimized set of feeding speeds here. So again, the video is just something to, uh, to think about if you're doing 3500s and thinking about the, the angles that things are getting cut to and knowing the machines and, and how to uh, work with what you got and work with what may be coming into your, your shop. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this as always. Like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to see next.